I'm going to tell you guys a little story. I'll tell you two stories. The tales of two Glendons. When I was broke the first time, I didn't really understand to make money. My mindset was clearly in the wrong place. I didn't have the right outlook or perspective on things. So the first time when I was broke, I would try to conserve. I would try to pawn something. I would try to work extra hours, which it's not bad, but it doesn't get the job done. And I, I remember struggling for so long. Just so many bad things happened because I didn't have an extra hundred bucks or an extra 200 bucks. I remember having to pay, I think, $150 for being late on the rent when I had the money. And what I mean is I had already worked. I was going to get paid that in another week or so. But since I didn't have access to the money, I had to pay that $150 late fee, which made things worse because we had less money to go around. And I just remember being in that situation all the time. And I looked at my behaviors. It's like, what do you do to end up in this situation? Why do you keep ending up in this situation? And part of it was I had a family, not to blame the family, but if it just been me, I wouldn't have went through these situations. And I had a sorry partner who wasn't a real contributor. So that was another reason. And it, it left me feeling inadequate. It left me feeling unworthy. I mean, I was really, really messed up. Then we had the meltdown, the crash, and all these other things that happened to my life. And at the age of 32, I began to take responsibility for my life. I've always been a person that took responsibility for my actions. But this video was brought to you by Hustlers Kung Fu University aka Hustlers Kung Fu Life Skills where our current course that we have going on is how to make money from scratch to set up in the foundation so if you want to get 50% off of this course what you will do is leave a comment on this video and also there's a whole lot more for you at Hustlers Kung Fu Life Skills we deal with credit repair. We deal with how to start a business and the money management course. If you want 50% off of this course, leave a comment in the video. So we got a lot of stuff going on. So let's get into this wonderful bean footage. I never really until that moment took responsibility for my life. I never did. And it, it made me really think about it. So I started to actively live my life. I started to be a participant in my life, so to speak. And then I came across some very good mentors, people who pointed me in the right direction, people that gave me clarity. And I started to do things differently. And I developed this mantra, make more money make more money making more money solves most problems doesn't solve everything but it solves most problems because the situations that bring themselves to your attention are predominantly created by a lack of money and the lack of money is created by the lack of knowledge and the lack of knowledge is created by a lack of perspective because there are many people who don't know what they don't know uh, someone just hit me up about a YouTube question and I take for granted you know this is well this is how it works right and I took like five or six texts back and forth to break it down and I was like oh most folks don't know what they don't know they don't understand the lack of perspective so it's hard to have a perspective of making more money when you don't really understand that it's a lack of perspective that creates that situation. It's not that many people making six figures, and it's even less making seven figures, but predominantly through 
internet marketing and so much pushing that you, you will have people have you thinking that's normal. It is attainable, I will say that, but it ain't normal. It's not, it's very typical. So you have that plus the reality of the average person in this country, and that's 60% and below, makes 38 grand per year. That's, you know, 160 hours per month. That's 1,800 hours of their life force given for 38 grand. That's where a large part of the people in this economy are. And it, it comes up to the point where now that I have a perspective of, number one, you must prepare for the future. When things are good, you need to save up your nuts. So when things are good, I actively grind. When things are bad, I actively grind. I do not grind on demand, which is when I need some money, let's hustle some stuff up. I keep the hustle going always. Therefore, these days of no money, needing to borrow, they don't, they don't happen. And they stop happening when I got to business environments because I was making probably 60, 60,000 when I got there. And then I enhanced my income to over six figures, six months. I started to really, really see the difference. But the first side of me broke, work extra, pawn stuff. Now the second side of me is I see something, how do I get it? It's, it's, it's so subtle, it's such a nuanced thing, but instead of going, I'm broke, I need money, I'm like, how can I keep money going? What can I sell? What can I create? What can I do? It's a totally different personal philosophy that most people don't have, and I have to be more, um, I have to have more empathy for you guys because I've explained it, but I don't think I've explained it in a way that really makes sense. And that's why I'm talking about how poor I used to be. Because when you, you know, because I, I put up this video the other day talking about, you know, I had a car where the gas needle didn't run. Uh, I had a car where the battery was dead and I had to, and fortunately for me, it was a five speed. So I was able to jump start it. And people started chiming in and like, uh, hoopty logistics. I like that term. And so, that resonated with a lot of people. Now I'll just talk about more of that stuff to create the perspective of you can be here. Your life can be jacked up right now. But if you make the right decisions, you do certain things, it can get really, really good. It could get really better. What's the difference between here, really bad, and over here, really good? Constant hustling. You have got to turn on the hustle button, the hustle engine, the hustle drive, and you can't turn it off. People that know me, like I'm out, <clears throat> and I'll have this look on my face, and they're like, you're thinking about business. Yep, you're right, guilty. And I'm not as bad as I used to be, because I do chill, but I know what's on the other side of that lack of hustle. If I slip, and I know it sounds unreasonable, I can end up in that boarding house, and that scares the fuck. I mean, just, I've come so far, and I'm just like, I can't go back. I just can't. There's nothing. I mean, this also, and I'll talk about this more in disruptive uh, mail, is one of the reasons I don't date a certain type of woman because there's a certain type of woman that can create certain situations or has so much drama in her life that she and her drama and stuff are going to take you right to the brink of disaster. And typically, these are women with very low impulse control. Um, I love Cardi B, but Cardi B's the type of chick I'm talking about. She has very low impulse control. This is why everyone likes her. She speaks her mind. You know, fortunately, she's only 25. I feel she's going to grow out of it. But there is no way in the world I would smash Cardi B. I would stay so far away from her because she is a walking paradox. She looks good. She sounds good. You know, she gets an interview. She sounds so intelligent. But there's the behavior. And that behavior, if I had to listen to what you say and if I had to listen to what you do, I'm going to choose Alex, what she did for 100. I'm not even listening to you. I'm like looking at what you're doing. Now, the, the framework is make more money. 
constantly grind, constantly market, constantly sell, where it's a habit. And that's what you guys got to do because, uh, like this, I, I want to trick it out some more. And I have the money. I could put it on the credit card. I could put some money out of savings. I could, but that's not the way to do it. The way to do it is to turn it into a money game. It's like, okay, I want to lower this, and I want to put an exhaust on it. And the exhaust is pretty pricey. So how can we make this happen? What can we do to accelerate this process? Uh, to get it dropped, you know, since it has a self-leveling suspension, it's going to be between 600 and 900 bucks. That's not a problem in the exhaust because I want it to sound fierce and aggressive. I'm giving myself a year. And this is another thing about how I hustle now. I don't hustle for, I don't quick, I don't do what I call a uh, IOU hustle where I'll put it on the credit card, then I will hustle to pay it off. I don't do that. That's, that's hustling backwards to me. Uh, what I do is I get the money first, I put it on the credit card to get the points, and then I immediately pay off the credit card. That's how I hustle today. And the reason I hustle that way is if everything falls apart, no one comes and takes my stuff. No one comes and takes my cars. No one comes and takes the house. No one comes, I mean, I just don't have that issue as long as I stick to this principle. And it's hard because I want to go out and slap it on the credit card. And I, I want to go out and ball out and stuff. And, but that's just not proper allocation of resources. You know, if I was making like three million, oh, the exhaust, yeah, it'd, it'd be on here. i uh, probably have a few more cars, to be honest. But I'm not. I make more money than the average person. I do very well. But when you look at how you should stack your money, and I'm stacking it the right way, you just can't go out and make these foolish purchases on the whim. And it is, I mean, I'll just tell you, the exhaust is probably gonna be five Gs, which is a lot of money for just that throaty growl, but I want it, and I'm gonna create a constructive and productive way to get it. I'm not just gonna get it, I'm gonna turn it into a game. And that's how it goes. So whenever you wanna make more money, make more money. Get in the habit of selling because I'm going to have an offer for you guys and it's uh, ask for the money. This is the course that I'm building. I updated it today and it's going to get really, really wild. It's going to get very, very hustler, kung fu-ish. I'm not going to hold anything back and I'm probably just going to drop a video of Jim in there a day versus just trying to hustle up and get it uh, a certain way. But what this course will teach you. Once you go through this course, you'll be able to get a sales job. And getting a sales job is very critical for you to start your own business because right now, most of you don't have the skills to run a business. You have the heart, you have the desire, you have the intellect. With seasoning, you can do well, but you don't, you're unseasoned. You're, you're like that steak, you know, it looks good, but if it's cooked wrong, it's gonna taste bad. So we're gonna season you. You got to get a job because most people cannot just quit their job and start a business and support themselves. Uh, a few precious, uh, typical people can, but most folks are not that way. So what we're going to do and ask for the money is teach you how to hustle, teach you how to get a sales job, teach you how to be successful in that sales job, and ultimately always have additional money because the thing, this is going to be hard. This is not one of those, you only work four hours a day. Open up your laptop and y'all, no, no. This this, this will not be the automation. You're gonna grind, you're gonna hustle, but you're gonna see fast results. Because if you do this stuff, the result is more money. If you like, okay, I'm gonna do this, you should have more money in your palm. So I think that's enough to keep you excited, hot and happy. All right, so what I'm gonna do, get this course so you can start your hustling. It's $150. You can go get it. Or if you want more, you can get Never Broke Action Pack, which includes this course and a lot more. So that's going to be here. It's $150 for Ask for the Money. And I'm going to do a special deal, and it'll be here on the card. You'll see what price point that I'm going to do. And it'll be for you guys for a few days. So you just go ahead, load it up. 
you start learning today you will start some of you will make money today those of you who really get on your hustle will make money today so that's the deal links below the video uh, codes and everything that you need to access these special deals and this is a limited time offer it's not gonna stay around forever but then we'll give you a few days and you can go ahead and get it all right so be sure to subscribe to the channel be sure to get the course and be sure to take action because you're just sitting down and doing nothing that's not gonna help you you're gonna have to get busy you're gonna have to stay busy and I guarantee you you get busy you stay busy you follow the instructions you will get more money in your life. And that's why we're here. All right. Remember, subscribe, leave a comment, and tell me, what would you do if you were making $500,000 a year? How would your life be different? Tell me that. Drop Today, business school is in session. Learn how to make money, increase your wealth. One of the biggest problems I have is that people come to the YouTube channel, they'll see me and they want to get some, but they don't know where to start. So I have solved that problem today. If you're brand new, welcome. We're glad to have you. Look forward to serving you a long, long time. If you want to get this knowledge, if you want to start a business, I have created a blueprint, a roadway for you to actually start making changes in your life. Because this is one of the things that I have learned. When I was doing 30 days to 2,500, I learned that there were some people who did better than others. And I was like, why are these people doing better than other people? What's going on with these people? And what I have discovered, and let's see, let me go ahead and get that. What I've discovered is that people who came in with a business already they did really well with 30 days to 2500 remarkably well it was like mind-blowing for some of them then there were people who didn't do well and these were people who did not have a strong mindset or were not in business so what i've des designed is for you to go through this pathway because essentially when I get someone who's brand new to the channel and they've never had a business, there is so much work that has to be done. I mean, I know there's folks on the internet that makes owning the business, running the business look super easy and it's not. And it's one of the most complicated things that you'll do in your life. But once again, People want the path of least resistance. That is not what we're going to have. So we're going to go here and we're going to go under. All right. So this is where you start. This is the uh, blueprint. First thing you're going to do is get the hustler's mindset, pimp your mind for success. That's your free audio book. That's where you're going to start getting that mind correct. Then you're going to move to this. Money management is the basics of finance and wealth development. Before you get new money, you must optimize the money you already have. If you, as it was said in the part of the live stream this morning, if you don't manage a little bit of money well, you're not going to manage a lot of money well. It's the same person. The only thing that changes is the money. Look at the number of athletes who go broke because they've never learned how to manage money. They never learned how to compartmentalize, how to do the five checking account blueprint. They've not done that. So this is the, the first course you need. Now, I keep telling everybody that. I've had a lot of people who take this course and they booked a console because they wanted to know more. So this is the course 
that you need. Then after that, we're going to go to the third course, becoming the boss. You have to make this mental shift about being into a producer mode. So this is the third course you'll take. And one of the things that I've done is I've priced this stuff so well that, you know, there, there is a few of you who are kind of sitting back, who are emailing me like, hey, I want to buy these courses. What's the best price you can give me? That never works. Those deals never materialize because they were required for me to sit on email and go back and forth with people all day. And it just typically doesn't work out. Uh, the courses are so economical. All right. This is what you're going to get after becoming the boss. This will be your fourth course. Uh, the Power of Six Productivity course. This course will help you get stuff done. This is a habit that you need to develop. How to manage your time. How to get stuff done. When you start a business, there's going to be so many things to do that this course will help you learn how to get stuff done, how to, what's a priority, what's not priority. This course will do it for you. All right. So the fifth course you will get scripted days. This is a life changing course. I think it's too cheap, but I want you guys to benefit. It will give you the power of written manifestation. It will straighten out your uh, bad habits. It will put you on the path of productive success. It will teach you how to, you know, set up a morning ritual, set up an evening ritual. A lot of things. This will be the fifth course. Now, these five courses in the free audio book will build a foundation. When I was doing 30 Days to 2500, I had some students do amazingly well, and some students struggled. The people who did well already had A, a business, or B, a superior mindset. The foundational courses will give you the superior mindset. Let's say you're a person who wants to start a business but have no clue to where to start. This next section is for you. Typically, business success comes from practicing business skills. One of the best ways to do that is by reselling. You got to get your feet wet. This is where you will start with the reselling courses. Uh, this is a collection that gives you the storage auction book, the pimping Craigslist stuff, all of this stuff to get you geared for resell. How to have a great garage sale, all that. Now, once you've gotten the first five courses, your next move will be 30 days to 2,500. This course is for people who need to learn how to sell and how to sell and set up business. It will be thought provoking. This is also a good course for people with established businesses. Remember how I told you the people who had already businesses did extremely well. So go ahead. You know, if you have a business owner, if you go through, cause 30 days to 2,500 is a long course. It's going to take you about two months to go through it, but it'll be well worth it because in these two months, you're going to learn stuff. It's going to open up your eyes. It's going to create new shifts in how you think and how you do business. All right. Uh, the seventh course will be asking for the money, how to be an Uber salesperson. Now, don't get this course unless you have something to sell. Just reading a book, or reading a book about sales without having something to sell is a waste of time. You need to actually read about it and put this stuff into practice. And once again, uh, for all you folks who keep asking me about the Luponics book, I don't know the name. Can't remember the name of it. All I know is it had a red and black cover. Can't help you. People keep like, man, it sounds dope. What's the name? I don't know the name, man. I don't know the name. Just had to put that out there. All right. And for the business owners, this will be defined as people making money and paying their bills with the proceeds from the business. You know, if you got like a side business or something, and this might be for you, but this is for the business owners. You should get the art of holding on how to set up your legal structure. Structure. If you're a business owner making money, you are a target and you will need to protect yourself. Now, for the people who want to save some money, I have a curated bundle with all the courses except the art of holding. 
to get you started and get your business aspirations. So this is the bundle that includes most of the courses. There you go. So if you are new to the channel and you're like, hey, where do I start? That's the pathway. That's the pathway to get started because from a foundational standpoint, you need to establish the foundation before you get off into trying to start your business. Because like I said, you know, I, I got a ton of feedback from 30 days to 2,500. And if I had been thinking, I would have did this like way sooner, but essentially taking those lessons derived from that course, you got people who are not mentally prepared to start a business. It's, it doesn't mean that they can't become mentally prepared. It's just a process. It's going to take them a little time to, you know, like you got kids. All kids don't learn at the same rate. You got some kids who learn slower, and but they can still get there. And essentially, this is what you will be going through with the foundational courses. They will help you get your mind right. This will help you get your mind right. The DSL Chronicles, hell yeah, they ain't going to buy people. I mean, seriously, I, I, I pretty much ignore those folks because I've been down that path before. Typically, the people who are like, I want this course, I want this course, I want this course, and who want to talk to me, uh, the number one reason that people want to talk to me is to get permission to do what they think they want to do. This like, well, if Glendon thinks this is cool. No, you, you need to give yourself permission. You need to validate yourself. You need to um, believe in yourself. Mike Ellie, this ain't no theory. This ain't no theory, man. These courses have come from my business experience. There is no theory here. Let's see. Anthony Johnson, me and my cousin got busy today. We had a hard time starting a generator. It wouldn't start for our mobile watch, but we strung it together. Made a hundred bucks for a few hours. See, once you go through this transformation, once you get that first good sale that first blow the money it becomes addictive it becomes very addictive now what i'm going to do for the you know starting next week there's going to be a lot of new training so i'm going to do a video probably sunday or monday talking about the new training and how you can get a hold of that now if you have never started a business this stuff is good for you especially 30 days to 2,500 and the money management course. I've heard, got a lot of feedback from that. People like it. It has helped them manage their finances because here's the thing. If you go ahead and start making a lot of money with your bad money management habits right now, it's the money's just, you're not going to get the best use of the money. You you need to learn how to hold on the money. And this is what the course teaches you. So, you know, next week we will get into um, the, the new stuff, but the new stuff will build on this. It won't be the same information. It'll be new information and more of it for business owners. I don't really have a lot of courses for business owners other than the art of holding maybe 30 days to 2,500 and asking for the sale. Those only courses for business owners. Uh, a lot of this stuff is side hustle stuff, uh, beginning business person. So once again, just go ahead. You know, if you're brand new to the channel, you just found this. Welcome. Thank you. Appreciate you. Um, this is what we're going to do. Michael Gardner. So it's true. This guy I'm working for in real estate made like 15K and spent it all. 
people that thirst, you know, that, that, that thirst is a big, big problem that build up thirst of you wanting stuff. You want to live a certain lifestyle. Once again, the money management course will help you with that. Let's see where we are. Cool. Because what on, this is going to be a very short live stream because I'm going to take it down and I'm going to put it at the end of all the newer videos. So people who are coming into the fold, you know, the new folks, because I got a lot of new folks. I get, you know, emails and stuff like, hey, Glendon, man, I'm really excited. I like what you're saying. But where do I start? This is where you start. Okay. So all of the information is below. You can start with your first five foundational courses. Then start going wild on the other stuff. And very soon I will have some new information that will build on these principles that will take you to the next level. So with that, I will see you guys later.